It's a weekly that people pick up in the black churches for free. Yeah, I did an interview for them maybe two or three months ago. Right. I forgot all about that. Well, you're back in jump, courtesy of your little sweetheart. She's telling the whole entire black Christian world that you got her pregnant and demanding that she have an abortion to cover it all up. She says that uh, you didn't think it would look good for uh, the group's image. Baron? Oh, this gets better, my love. Towards the end of this lovely spot, she claims that you're selling the world gospel music and you ain't even Christian. She calls you, I, I don't know, some kind of fucking atheist or you're doing voodoo or some shit. Says you're living a double life and a lie. Oh, hell no. Oh, God, help us. She's out to sabotage you, Baron. I don't think she'll stop here. She ain't going to be satisfied until you're finished. I'll be back. You ain't going. I'm going to find her and then I'm going to snap her neck. Not without me. Please. Baron. It's slander, Myra. We're going to squash this thing before it gets any bigger. I don't give a goddamn what's true or what's not, so don't feel like you gotta explain nothing to me. I only give a shit about selling music. I don't belong in your business. We need to finish this. I'm listening. I can get you a spot, six, maybe even 90 seconds on, uh, on uh, Channel Black. I work with them all the time with other groups and they give me a few favors. Anyways, you go on, you deny everything, except the fact that she's pregnant with your child. We can get past that. Your audience will forgive you for a little hanky-panky. Trust me. This other shit about abortions and atheism or whatever the fuck has to be shot down immediately. You sure that's the right thing to do? That might make anything worse. Yes! It's the right thing to do. She is a woman scorned. That's our story. We do this now, before she goes any further. You must have your say. She is scorned. Tell them that. She is out to destroy you because you refuse to marry her. I'm willing to bet that's the case anyways. Well, I don't care. We don't want her to get us thrown off the tour or kill our momentum. We're fucking cruising here. I'm going to make some calls. Set this thing up. I'll get back to you. Whatever the truth is, I know you. I know you don't mean anybody any harm. You're a good soul. Whatever you do here, just remember, we're in this with you. You go down and we all go down with you. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to go down in your boat. Listen, <laughs> he's the victim here. With all the victims. Cool it, baby. We've got you back here, even knucklehead over here. Tell you what, I got a lot, of, a lot to think about here. Let's call it a day. You want to go sit down somewhere so you're not alone? <coughs> I won't be. I'll go catch up with my old man. Good idea. I mean, what is this jump magazine or jump paper anyway? I ain't never heard of it. Weekly black Christian paper. We got we got to go to the church to get it. That's why I ain't never heard of it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> how much damage can it do? How many people read this thing? Um, she might take it further. This woman ought to get your ass, ain't she? Looks like it. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. You don't want to go all up on the TV and talk about this. Then you just fan the, fan the damn flames. Think so? Sure. Right now, I ain't nothing more than a little church mag. It, it's the kind of thing where if you don't even address it, the damn thing simply fades away. Folks start to think her ass is crazy. In fact, her ass is crazy. <laughs> I say let it flow. Talking about it just going to draw more people to it. It may, it may not do no harm in the end. Mickey thinks she'll take it further if I don't address it. Mickey is quick on the drop. I knew his daddy. He followed on, on in his footsteps. He just like it. Smart as a whip, but don't always think things out. I got myself in a big mess here. You got anything to drink? Nope. I'm drinking orange juice tonight. You want some? Sure. Yeah. Straight up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets, Barry. They're going to eventually catch up with you. You got too many. Don't want nobody to know what, what you do for your old man. I don't want nobody to know who you land up with. Get tough on the man. It's tearing me up. That's why I, I should deal with this. My child's been all out of sorts. I, 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 I ain't gonna tell you I told you so. But nigga, I told your ass so. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, call up. Everything I've done has been for the group. Every decision I've made, every plan I plotted. But who the group always stood for? You, right? No, absolutely not. Sure it has. Don't blame all this 
soul in the group. You've been doing all this for you. Huh? What you gonna do? Stay here tonight? No, I'm gonna go home. Alright, well, go on then so I can get some sleep. Are you actually sleeping in your bed tonight? Yeah, the chair's killing my back. <laughs> you know, I ain't the one to say that I told you so, Shut but. Shut up, boy. Pop exit up the stairs. Night transition, end of scene. Scene four. Baron brings a chair from Pop's room center. He sits, a special light pool is around him. We have gospel music sensation Baron Mosley, leader and songwriter of the group Chosen, live from his home. Baron, thank you for being with us today. Sure. Danielle Porter, a member of your group Chosen, has accused you of impregnating her, then demanding she get an abortion once you heard the news. That, that's not true. I'm a father of her unborn child, but I did not demand that she abort it. <laughs> a matter of wor wording, actually. I did ask her to. I did ask her to. No demands were made. It was a request that I deeply regretted just hours after the conversation. I was thinking about the group, about our future. Once I got a chance to let things simmer and think clearly, I wanted to take the words back. Does she know that? She doesn't. I haven't spoken to her. She hasn't returned any of my calls. I, I sincerely hope she's listening now. So you will be a father to this child? Absolutely. She has also made claims about your religious beliefs. Well, I, I don't... Calling you a fraud, accusing you of, quote, selling gospel music to the world for profit, end quote. Saying you, in fact, don't hold any faith in the Bible or its teachings. That is not entirely true either. I'm not a fraud. But I'm also... I'm also no true Christian. You are not Christian. No, I'm not. She suggested that you could be an atheist. I am not an atheist. That accusation was simply unfair and hurtful. She knows me better than that. What are your beliefs? I don't think that is important here. It's personal and only a select few would understand anyway. I'm not evil and I'm not godless. I grew up in the church. My mother, Sharice, was an evangelist. I wrote tunes for her choir. As I got older, I began to open up my mind to other theories, and I was pulled through study and meditation in, in another direction. Why gospel? Why not gospel? Gospel is what I've always been good at, really good at. I've written gospel music since I was 12 years old. So the better question is, why not gospel? Most of us are good at something. A few of us are great at something. When you figure that out, you have to chase it down. You're given a skill that is unlike most on the planet. Why not pursue it? You owe it to yourself. That's what I did. I understand that won't be good enough for my audience. This may be the end of Chosen. The truth, however, I'm proud of what I've done. Regardless of my beliefs, my music inspired me. It inspired what inspired my people. It made them better Christians. I know because they told me so. They wrote it in their letters. I've got no shame, and I never will. Any regrets? Certainly. I regret bringing those performers along so far, only to tear it all apart just before it really got a chance to take off. Those guys in my band, some of the best musicians around. They'll find work, I'm sure, but the singers? <laughs> it's tough on singers. I deeply, apo deeply apologize to them. They mean a great deal to me. At the same time, I'm relieved. I've lived a double life, and the two ran right into each other like a train wreck. It was tearing me up, killing me, actually. I needed to get to a point where I could accept myself for what I am, the man I've become, and rid my life of all the, the facades, all the masks. So what now? Are you going to stop writing music? Of course not. Music has <coughs> always been the constant in my life. Music, that sweet spirit. Of music judges no man. It's always there for me. Mr. Mosley, thank you for being so open with us. Sure. Night's transition. Baron crosses to his party. Pops is on stage in the band in the blues club. I'm going down that old railroad, where to I can't 
one that wants to love me way down in Arkansas. Oh, should have used my pistol, could have shot my gal and go. Could have used my pistol, should have shot my gal and go. Get down. Well, she made me love her, now her man done come. Go ahead. 